You know, we're growing co-ops. Uh, you know, what does that mean? And why is it important? You know, at Lamont and we opened a new store three days ago. It's our sixth store. Uh, please don't clap yet. <laughs> Call me in six months and I'll tell you whether applause is needed or not. I'm sure it will be, though. You know, when I was hired at Lamont and on the job description, it said uh, vision. No one ever asked me that before. Do you have a vision? I didn't really know what to say or what to think or even how to articulate a vision to anyone. But you know, vision is just a dream. I think we all have dreams. And we've got to be able to have the commitment and the work ethic to make those dreams come true. What I'm going to talk about today is Lamont and Nita and their dreams and what we're going to try to do in the next 10 years. And it's going to be a, it's an ambitious goal, but I think it's a goal that we can achieve if we just uh, have that commitment level at our, at our co-op. Number one, I'd like to see Lamont and Nita in the next 10 years open two more stores, one store every five years. There's plenty of growth opportunity for us, not only in Albuquerque, Santa Fe, maybe Socorro, who knows. You know, uh, yet to be determined locations, but I think those are viable options for us that we, we're not near our capacity yet. If we continue to grow, continue to have co ops in underserved communities, we can have smaller formats, we can have bigger formats. The, it's endless what we can do if we just look at it hard enough and research it that we need to be. Of course, that's also dependent upon the economy, success of existing stores, and just in general how things are going uh, with Lamont and and Eric's success. As most of you know, we have a uh, distribution system on point number two in our food shed that's been in place since, I think, 2007. I think the success of that is to have food hubs. I, th I think of Shahid or Joshua, you know, whoever we can get to be a partner in these to have a food hub that's not only Lamont and Nita and Albuquerque, but a source or if we're in Las Cruces, we can drop, we can pick up. We've talked about that and be able to expand this distribution system, which is badly needed in this state. When I came, I came here from uh, Tennessee, and you know, I got to New Mexico. It's the worst distribution system I've ever seen in my life. It was just terrible. It's just so spread out and so big, and so much ground to cover. We can only do so much. So we need people like Shahid. We need people like Joshua to help us uh, make this distribution system work. And I think that's something we really need going to talk about at some point is how we make this viable for our state and to get more goods to more people, and spread this also will spread the co-op uh, message as well. Number three, I believe La Montanita can actually be a hub for centralized services. I think we have the capacity to do accounting, financing, marketing, and things that we can make the economies of scale go down for all co-ops. We have great people in place, and I think that would be such a good thing that we could do that. We could make it. It's going to. It's going to take cooperation. We all see each other's numbers anyway, so there's no no secrets there for uh, particular CCGA co-ops. But I think we can be a hub for that, and I think that would be a great thing not only for La Montanita but for other co-ops in other parts of the country as well. I think I'm, they would think of Minnesota. My gosh, you got so many co-ops there in Minnesota. Why couldn't you have a central hub that did that work and just lowers everybody's cost and lowers everybody's cost means lower cost of goods for uh, some of our consumers. And number four, I think La Montanita can be a hub for for co-op activity. We always want to do all these great projects, and I don't think we can do it alone as just LMC. I think we can be a resource. I think we can be a facilitator. I think we can be a clearinghouse. I think that needs to be our role. We can't go out and reinvent everything that everybody wants to do, whether it's a housing co-op, electric co-op, name your co-op. But I think we can also, are there other food co-ops for that matter? But I do think at LMC we can also be a hub for that activity and provide resources and consulting, which we do now on a small scale. And that's one thing that we're very interested in doing, and the, actually the work that we enjoy doing the most. Number five is the most important thing that I have on, on our next 10-year growth. If you look around at uh, myself, Marshall, Martha, Robin, some of the folks we have here, we all live in the same neighborhood, so to speak. And in a nice way, we're on the, we're on the latter end of our careers and not the upper end. Succession. I think the hinge point for Lamont Need is going to be having a great succession plan in place where we have future leaders that can run this co-op. The hinge point for us and our future success is going to depend on having these leaders in place in the next five years. When this generation goes, we need a new generation to come in and take over this work, have that commitment, have that drive, and have that ambition to make the plans that we're going to have in place a reality at some point. And I think all co-ops should explore that. Uh, you may have younger co-ops, older co-ops. But at some point, people move on for either opportunity or age or whatever the case may be. But let's have those plans in place where we're ready to not miss a beat and we can keep moving forward. Thank you.